Hello and welcome guys. Today I want to share my review of Sportsite Pro. This is another website builder that promises the world, but can it deliver? That's exactly what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to walk you through the sales page so we can identify exactly what this product does. I want to share that with you so when we jump inside and I give you a full Sportsite Pro demo, you can see whether it delivers on those promises or whether it's a complete failure. My review of Sportsite Pro is based on my own experience and my own opinions and I want to share those with you so you can make an informed decision if you're looking to buy a Sportsite Pro today. But before we jump in there's some serious traffic issues with this product so make sure you stay tuned and I have something really special for you if you're looking to build a real honest ethical business and you want to leverage the power of affiliate marketing then all you need to do is hit the link in the description below and you can go and grab yourself access to a free training program that's going to walk you through the initial steps of setting up a profit ready business in less than seven days guys a business that's honest ethical and it's a strategy that actually works myself and many others are using this strategy to generate income online so make sure you hit the link and go and grab yourself that free training so we're on the sales page of sports site pro and the first thing it says tap into a pool of 3.5 billion sports fans across 200 countries now yes sports is a massive industry but can you actually use this tool to tap into that one click app creates auto creates a self-updating sports news website with a built-in done for you Amazon store preloaded with sports products in less than 60 seconds now we're going to put that to the test is it that quick and what how are they making these auto created websites most of these sites use scraped content which means it's content that's not yours guys it's plagiarized content you're taking content from other people's sites now that is not allowed so when we get inside we're going to find out if that is true with sports site pro now it says it's an AI powered software, activates your own sports sites, you can target up to 3.5 billion sports fans, get started immediately and create your first new site, pay once, profit forever. Now without any hassle, now this is completely misleading guys because there's no guarantee that you're going to profit and in fact I don't think you're going to make a single penny but make sure you stay tuned guys because I'm going to explain everything when we get inside. 100% host on reliable cloud servers, I very much doubt it. Age, skill, experience, no bar. They're saying it doesn't matter. Now these are very simple to put together. I'm going to show you how we can do that in a moment. But the important part is, are you actually going to make any money? Because it doesn't matter what this costs or how much time you put in. If it doesn't make any money for you, it's a complete waste of your time and money. I'm sure you agree. Now there's 113 beta testers have made 213,000 plus dollars. <laughs> in affiliate commissions. I very much doubt that guys, this product hasn't even released yet. There are not 113 beta testers and you'll see on the sales page it doesn't even mention any of their websites or anything below. 100% legal and ethical. If they're saying that on the sales page, for me that raises a big red flag. And as I've said, if they're plagiarizing content, then it's not legal and ethical. You get a 30 day money back guarantee, so that is the best thing they've said so far. Now what is Sportsite Pro going to cost you? The front end product is going to cost you $17 a whole host of upsells along the way but if the main core product doesn't work then there's no point upgrading to those offers as you go through the sales funnel as always there's three easy steps you log in you watch as the app instantly creates a complete automated sports news site loaded with news from all of these different places and you can generate millions of visitors every month and send them to a built-in done for you Amazon store, watch your sales conversions skyrocket. It sounds fantastic. But if something sounds too good to be true, guys, it normally is. So just be aware. This is really, really misleading, guys, on the sales page right here. There's a couple of testimonials here from guys, but what you want to do is go and find out who these people are. You want to verify that these are real people and that they are actually using Sports Site Pro to generate an income for their business. Now you can see down here, there's some screenshots of all of the traffic that's coming to these sites, but this is NFL.com, ESPN.com. These are the sites that they're comparing themselves to. These are massive sites that have taken years and years and years, and they've got huge teams of people behind them to build these websites. They're legitimate sites. You are never going to match this amount of traffic from a website like this. Now, a bit further down the screen, you're going to see screenshots of traffic and revenue, and they're completely unrelated to product. We don't know if this has been this could have been created in Photoshop. We've no idea. There's no tie into the product. There's no tie into a website or anything. It's just made up figures, guys. So you need to take that into account when you look at these pages. I think we've seen enough on the sales page now. So let's jump inside Sportsite Pro, where I can give you a full. 
demo. So inside of products, if you choose to buy it, this is where you're gonna come. This is the dashboard where you can see all of your websites and all the statistics. On the left-hand side, you've got your menu. So you've got your manager sites. This is all of the, your websites that you're creating inside here. You've got your website settings, which is where you're gonna put all of your website information, your contact details and all of that stuff. You can manage the pages. You've got manage sliders. Then you've got your affiliate settings. Now the main part of this is your Amazon affiliate program because they've got a built-in Amazon shop. This is where you need to put your Amazon ID. That is assuming that you actually get approved for an Amazon account. Then you've got a news API key as well in here. But if I click on this, it will tell you how to get that news API key. And if you're here in the UK like me and you click on this and go to register for a news API key, you can see that they don't support the United Kingdom. I don't know if that's the same in the country that you're in, but it's worth checking this, guys, before you go and jump in and buy this product. Then you've got your blog campaign. Inside here, this is where you're gonna create your blog, and if we go and have a look at this in a little while, you're gonna see that all they do is scrape content from other websites like ESPN and FIFA and all of those big names. That's where we're gonna be taking content from, content that's not yours guys, it's plagiarized content. You can manage articles in here, so you can manage all the articles that's scraping from other people's sites, or you can create your own article and write it yourself. But you're gonna be wasting a lot of time because you're gonna put a lot of effort into writing detailed articles about the sport that you love and you're interested in to put it on a site that isn't gonna bring no traffic at all. You've got your ads manager where you can add ads to the site. Now, you're only gonna make money from ads and from those affiliate offers if you get traffic and you are not going to get any traffic with Sports Site Pro. I'm gonna explain when we get inside in a little while. You've got your subscriber list in here when people subscribe, and then you've got your training and all that stuff. Inside the training, this is one of the first things you wanna look for, because when you're buying a product, you need to understand how it works. Inside it, it's pretty detailed. It tells you how to set all the website up, how to do everything. It's all pretty comprehensive, guys. So if we go back to the dashboard, we want to build a new site. Let's go and have a look at what these look like. You're gonna give it a website name, or you can give it a custom domain if you wanna add your own domain to it, which is a much better option, or you can create a proper WordPress site. We're gonna use a website name where we using their subdomain. So it's .sportsitepro.com. So we're gonna do it, anything, test one, two, three, that'll do, we're gonna submit. Now once we've created that website, we wanna to go to Website Settings tab on the left-hand side. We wanna find our website, we wanna hit the Settings tab. We can add a logo, we can add a contact email, a short content description. You can add your social media accounts and all of that good stuff inside here, the site title. This is all the meta description. This is supposedly to help you rank, but when you're under subdomain, it's not gonna work. And when you're using plagiarized content, which we're gonna to get to in a second, you are not gonna rank on Google, and that is gonna be your main traffic source. If you're not getting traffic from Google, then you're gonna to need to use these Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter. You're gonna to need your, to use your social media platforms, and if you don't have a following on social media, how do you expect to get any traffic from that? Again, most of the people, most of the friends you have on Facebook or Instagram, they may not be interested in these sports. So they're not gonna come over to this website. It's serious issues there. If we go back to manage websites, we wanna go and have a look at what this website looks like. If we click on the website, load up the page, and this is what it's gonna look like. Now it looks okay. You've got a, a subscribe button that pops up there. You've got not a lot of information down here. Then we've got our shopping list at the bottom. This is where you're gonna make all of your money. You can see the images are really poor on here as well. They've not come across very well, but that could be random. You know, people might not be looking for that. It needs to be specific to your customer needs. You need to remember it's all about user intent. Then you've got all your sports down the side here. You can click on soccer, cricket, tennis, and it's gonna bring us over to those particular pages where it's gonna give you all of the information about sports going on in different countries. Then this is the part where we've got the blog. Inside the blog, this is where it's gonna be all of your content is hosted. Now we haven't set that up yet inside the software. We're gonna do that in a moment. Then we've got our Amazon store here, which is just full of random products. And you can see, look at the images, they are terrible. No one is gonna click on these images and buy them. You can't even see what the pictures are on these t-shirts. And they're completely irrelevant to the site that we're actually building. So if we go back over to Sports Site Pro, the next part that you wanna do is set up your blog campaign. Now we're gonna create a new blog. We wanna select the website we've just created, test one, two, three. Then you're gonna use your own RSS feed URL. So if you've got your, your own website you wanna use or you wanna take someone's website that you know, or you can use our database and you can choose from their database all of these different sites here. We're gonna pick ESPN. So again, 
we're going to steal content from ESPN. You can also select blog content here and you can enter a keyword and find blog con content that way. We're going to use this and we're going to submit. And you can see now it, it's scraped all of this content for these different websites. You can see the website here that it's posted on. And if we go back over to our website, we hit refresh, we go back up to the blogs and it should have published the content in here. It may take a few minutes, but essentially it's going to publish the content that we've selected from ESPN to post into this blog. Now what we can do is go and have a look at one of the other websites that's been created previously and we can have a look and see if that's got any blog content in it because it doesn't seem to be uploading to the site that I've just made. And here we go, this is the blog content. So you can see if we click on one of these posts here, this is going to be the post. The image isn't even loading up properly. This is the content, really poor. Everything's not, nothing's formatted properly. There's links all over the place for different things. It's just really, really poor. Quality. No one is going to spend any time reading through this, which means that people are going to click off this website. They're not going to spend any time on here at all. So I'm sure you can see now that the issue with this website, yes, it is very easy to put this website together, but they're really poor quality. They're not good quality at all. I could take you through all of the other features inside here, like creating the ads managers and managing the articles and stuff, but I really don't see the point, guys, because without any traffic to these websites, you can see that you're not going to make any money. You need a huge volume of traffic to be able to make any money from this because you want people to come down here. You want people to click on these ads, which are really, really poor quality in your Amazon shop and head over to Amazon and go and purchase these products. You also want to add banner ads and stuff. And the conversion rates on those are like 0.3% or something. They're really low conversion rates, which means huge volumes of traffic. Where are you going to get that traffic from? You're certainly not going to get it from Google because Google is far too clever. If you're using plagiarized content on this website and you're taking all this content from someone else, then they know that. They know and they will not rank you on Google, which means your traffic source is dead, guys. As I said at the beginning of the video, if you want to build a legitimate business, make sure you hit the link in the description. Go and check out that free training. And before you go, check out the video on the screen right now so you can learn how to build a real business online using a strategy that actually works.